actually, to this day, I mean, there's really no mistake about it because I saw it. It was a young boy on the side of the road. Um, you know, I'm, he fit the description of a young kid. He was short. Um, just his mannerisms, the way he was acting, you, you could tell that he wasn't any older than nine or eight, eight or nine years old. And I physically saw him throw the grenade, which ended up landing in my lap as I was on top of a Humvee. Uh, we were stopped in a marketplace. So I ended up getting out, yelling grenade. My driver and the assistant driver ended up getting out of the doors. We all got hit with the grenade. I took the worst of it. But uh, that day, it was actually my team leader who was sitting in the passenger seat in the front who actually was able to drag me out of the street where we were getting engaged by enemy small arms fire. As an outpatient, it was a, it was a little confusing because I thought as a veteran, you're supposed to be going to the veterans hospital. When I came home, I don't know if it was just a lack of communication on my part or whoever is in charge of people that come home hurt, but I was supposed to be getting seen in Groton at the Naval sub base here in Connecticut. So I kind of had to, after somebody stepped in and said, you're supposed to be going to Groton, I had to kind of do everything all over again. You know, and, and this is me kind of unable to walk. Um, I needed help. I was, I had a girlfriend at the time that would drive me to my appointments. Uh, she actually took a year off from school to be able to help me because I really couldn't live on my own. I really, there was no way I could have got through a day without somebody physically helping me. I was in a wheelchair for I think the first two, three weeks. Um, and then, you know, I used the wheelchair as needed if we were going somewhere where we'd be walking. Mm -hmm. You know, if we went to the mall or something like that, I'd be in the wheelchair. Uh, but I was 20 years old when this happened, so you can imagine, you know, I, this, isn't, this isn't supposed to happen. I'm supposed to be running around and going nuts and, you know. So I rushed my recovery. I pushed it probably too hard. You know, especially doctors even told me, you're pushing this recovery too much. Mm -hmm. You can't run yet. Don't go to the gym. I mean, I was going to the gym on, on crutches, you know, doing upper body stuff. And they said, you cannot do that. But I was 20 years old at the time. You know, this, in my head, I kept thinking, this isn't, this isn't what's supposed to happen.